Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we'll be discussing about battered baby syndrome. It is a very important FMT topic and a must do topic because this thing happens a lot in the world while and you should know about this. So I hope you like my PPT because it is brisk, it is very crisp and if you write in this way in your exams, it is more than enough. Okay. So battered baby syndrome, the definition, a battered child is the one who has received repetitive physical injuries by non-accidental violence by a parent or a guardian. This means that a person who is beating up the baby is intentionally doing it and on a repetitive basis. So it is also known as cafe syndrome, cafe campus syndrome, maltreatment syndrome or parent infant traumatic stress syndrome. So if you get a question in your exam written with these names, please don't get confused. It is the same as the battered baby syndrome. So the features. Now features can be related to a child. They can be related to the parents or the guardian and can be related to the socio-familial factors. Now in child, you can see that the age, it's mainly below three years. So the child beaten up is mainly below the three years age group sex it is more common in males status of the child if the child is illegitimate and an unwanted child he ha he or she has more chances to get beaten up mentally abnormal child and the youngest or the oldest child so these are the factors which are related to child now there are some precipitating factors like act of disobedience by the child frequent crying refuse to taking food and soiling of bed clothes so these are some precipitating factors which aggravate the uh, parent or the guardian to beat him up or beat her up so the features related to the parents or the guardian the unmarried couple young parents lower education reckless lifestyle drug abuse childhood history like the parents were themselves the victims of battering during their childhood so now they are beating up their own child so it's a childhood history, childhood trauma and also psychological factor like the person has an impulsive nature or an aggressive personality and he or she is taking out on his or her child. So the last factors that is socio-familial factors which also plays a role in battered baby syndrome are the low social background, lack of fam family harmony, long-standing emotional problem financial problems and trouble at place of work so if these features are found that the family is suffering from one or two things then the child has more chances to get beaten up so what are the features arising suspicion of abuse when a child uh, when a parent comes to us uh, a doctors with their beaten up child so these are some special points which can direct us towards like this baby was because of the battered baby syndrome. He, the condition of the baby is because of beating up by his own parents or a guardian. So these are the features arising suspicion like parents give vague history of accident to be the cause of injuries which does not match the type of injuries or the time of injuries. Example, he... Uh, like the for the example the father beat his child and with his belt now he gives the history that he was fall from stairs now the injuries which are produced to fall from stairs do not match the injuries which are caused by the belt so the parents give vague uh, vague history ki aise gira tha waise gira tha idhar usko lag gayi thi chalte chalte gir gaya tha but these are not true and they also stutter while saying this because they know that they have beaten up the child and often parents give history of tendency of the child to bruise easily ki ye to iske nishan bahut jaldi aa jate hai is to pehli iska thoda thoda khoon aa jata hai iske pehli bahut zyada neel pad jata hai parents seek medical aid very late when the condition of the child becomes serious this is a very important point because till the time the baby reaches to us he has or she has a lot of 
chronic injuries a lot of injuries which have damaged a lot of structures already because parents uh, do not come up with their child on the first beating up they beat him up continuously continuously and when the child has gained the severe injuries then is the time they bring up to the doctor and injuries found in different stages of healing because it is repetitive physical injuries so some injuries will be older some injuries will be newer so all these factors we have to see while we are asking questions from the parent that how the child got injured so what are the injuries what can we see there is a photograph uh, also you can see there are injuries like surface injuries cns injuries other organ injuries so in surface injuries we can visually see the bruises or the abrasions we can also see laceration of the oral mucosa with labial frenulum of the lower lip and this laceration of the oral mucosa it is a characteristic feature of battered baby syndrome so do not forget this line please write this now there can be slap marks on face knuckle punches punch kiya tha and pinch marks ki choti kaati thi there can be traumatic alopecia like uske baal pakad ke kheenche to baal patches on scalp due to pulling out of the hair so you can see that eyes are also affected black eyes ho sakte hai ears mein bhi uh, affected neck mein bhi affected cheeks mein slap marks ho sakte hai oral lacerations forearms and inner aspects of arm back and side of trunk especially directly over the bony spine matlab back pe bhi bahut marte hai chest and abdomen pe bhi injuries ho sakti hai groin area pe bhi ho sakti hai inner aspects of thighs and soles of feet these are the few areas which have a higher chances of getting the surface injuries now the cns injuries these are caused due to throwing of the child or striking the child against a wall or hitting with fist or object or dropping the child so all these throwing off and striking him against a wall hitting him or dropping him these all uh, cause cns injuries in the baby now it can also be caused due to vigorous shaking of the child and this is another syndrome known as the shaken baby syndrome or the infantile whiplash syndrome which is caused by excessive to and fro shaking of the baby and it damages the brain so much this leads to intracranial hemorrhage altered mental status unresponsiveness coma and convulsions and there is a triad which consists of encephalopathy retinal hemorrhages and subdural hematoma and these are the first clinical signs seen on ct the subdural hematoma the question can be asked that what uh, is the most common thing seen so please remember the subdural hematoma additional injury there can be injury to the cord brain stem or the skull injury now the other injuries other than the cns and the surface injuries in eye there can be retinal hemorrhage and lens displacement in the viscera or the organs hemorrhage due to injury to spleen or liver burns uh, due to cigarette ends on skin or scalds matlab parents jo hai wo cigarette jale bhi cigarette laga dete the bachcho pe skeletal injuries fractures of long bones ribs skull vertebral bodies deformities of the long bones so fractures can also be presented as a complaint blunt trauma to chest causes multiple rib fractures leading to lung and heart contusions pneumothorax hemothorax rupture of diaphragm and cardiac tamponade so these are all caused to blunt trauma to the chest and in the genito urinary system the patient can have hematuria dysuria an increased frequency of urination so see here these are the arm and the forearm area which have the grip marks with the adult hand like bahut hi tightly pakda hoga and butterfly shape pinch marks and bite marks even kaata hoga jaise bachche ko to us daanton ke nishan aa jayenge the teeth marks then you can see the black eye and the slap marks on the cheeks these are the cigarette burns on the sole and bruises caused by canes or belts 
and burns from an iron so you can easily see that these injuries are caused by some specific things like bite marks caused by teeth the cigarette burns the belt marks and so these injuries do not match the injuries which are caused by the vague history given by the parent so you have to uh, know you have to suspect that this child may be a case of battered baby syndrome and then you have to counsel and inform the police maybe that uh, this is a serious case now the diagnosis nature of injuries delay in seeking medical treatment recurrent injuries and x-ray you will get strings of bead appearance in the paravertebral gutter after callus formation so the diagnosis is made up on the basis of the injuries what you'll see in the child and obviously the suspect that the child is coming so late the parents are bringing their child so late to seek medical advice and there are in recurrent injuries so many injuries and also injuries in different phases old injuries and new injuries so this is how you make a diagnosis so that is all for the battered baby syndrome and this is enough and enough to write an exams so i hope you like this video and do give me a thumbs up thank you